Can you please tell us your name and where you are coming from? My name is Victoria Mbata. I'm coming from Centurion. Can you share your testimony with the church? Yes, my testimony goes like this. I came here for the fruit service on Tuesday. And then um, as the man of God was praying, he said there is a woman in the midst uh, who has pains in the abdomen. And they want to kill you. I just came before because I have pains. I don't know about the killing part. And the men of God prayed for us. We were many. When he prayed for us, when he came to me, I fell. And then I stood up and then he told me that I said a little prayer before I came to church. I agreed, and he also said, I came here for a miracle. I also agreed. The man of God walked seven steps with me. And then on the seventh step, he prayed for me. I, I fell. And then he said, I will come back for a testimony. I'm back for a testimony. Since I fell, since I came here, I was healed. I was delivered. And I would like to thank the men of God for the prayer. Wow, let's clap hands for Jesus. You said that you were suffering from abdominal pains. Yes. Sir. Tell us. As you were having those pains, how were they affecting you? What was happening in your life when you were experiencing those pains? Uh, I couldn't sleep. I was having trouble sleeping. They started only at night, which was very strange. You couldn't sleep? Not at but all. But after the man of God prayed for you, you are completely healed. I'm healed. Come on, somebody. Clap hands for Jesus. <laughs> Where Jesus Christ is, healing is just like breathing. What word of encouragement can you give to somebody who is watching you at home who might find themselves in a similar situation? What can you say to them as you have seen the healing of the Lord? I would encourage them to come to church and give the men of God a chance and be prayed for because not all pain can be healed by the hospital. Some of them are spiritual. You have to come to church. <laughs> Hallelujah. My sister, we as Tabernacle Church of Jesus Christ International, we rejoice with you. We thank God for your healing. Uh, as God has used his servant, Apostle Gosane Fale, we would like to encourage you that you make his way the standard for your life. Continue to follow Jesus so that the healing you receive will remain permanent in your life in Jesus' name. You can take your seat. Let's clap hands for Jesus. Give your healing. Shalom Alikim. Alikim Shalom. Can you please tell us your name and where you're coming from? I am Rodwell Shibambu from Sanguin section. Can you kindly share with us your testimony? My testimony is about the prophecy that came to pass uh, concerning the job. Uh, Papa prophesied me 2015 around September saying that there is a job that is waiting for me. And then again in December 2015 also prophesied that I must count few months and then something will happen. Na in December 2015 something Then uh, I went to the interview last year April. Interview April. Then they said they will call me. Ban hlamule then also Papa prophesied me last year, May, saying that he see me testifying. 
then also in on crossover na i crossover he said that uh, god has remembered me i bulele swa ku shikombushin tsundukile then this year last month they called me to come and sign the contract come on somebody clap hands for jesus tell us where is a contract which contract did you sign and where Okay, I, I signed the contract at Department of Finance, formerly known as Department of Finance or e government. Come on, somebody, stand up and celebrate Jesus. Stand up and celebrate. <laughs> and you said that you received a prophecy from the man of God 2015. Yes. And then he said that count months, something will happen. Yes. Of which in that very same month you went for an interview. Yes. And then we went to an interview. This is the job where they called you is where you were interviewed. Yes. Half, after how many months? Uh, after four, three months. After four to three months. Yes. Hallelujah. I want you to notice something about the testimony. He went for an interview and as he went for an interview, they said they will call him. Hallelujah. And then again, he received the prophecy that you will testify. As he was still waiting, he received a call from that interview that he went to and he was granted the government job. Come on, somebody, clap hands for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. When a true man of God speaks, his word will never fail. His word will never fall on the ground. Just one word is enough to change your story. Let's clap hands for Jesus. <laughs> what is it that we are seeing there on your left? Uh, this is the, the offer saying that I am assistant director Viewers all over the world, just watch your screen. Viewers all over the world, just watch your screen. This is the appointment letter that he has received. This is an appointment letter that he has received. He is officially employed. Tell us the, the condition of employment. Are you temporary or is what? It's permanent. It's a permanent job. Come on, somebody celebrate Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. My brother, what word of encouragement can you give to viewers? who are watching you at home, as you have received this permanent contract, government job, after prophecy from the man of God, what can you say to viewers who are watching you at home? Because it's only God who can give them the job. I would like to say put your faith in God because it's only him who can give you the job. What a mighty God we serve. My brother, we as Tabernacle Church of Jesus Christ International, we rejoice with you. We thank God for this amazing grace that has come upon your life. We encourage you that continue to follow Jesus, make his way the standard for your life, so that the miracle that you receive will remain permanent in Jesus' name. The best is yet to come. You can take your seat. Shalom Alikim. Let's start. Shalom Alikim. Alikim, Shalom. Can you please tell us your name and where you are coming from? My name is Ndura Mamboro. I stay in Sivana. Can you please share with us your testimony in short? My testimony goes like this. Uh, I started working in September last year. Ufaka zwami wamba ngale ndlela ngqalo ukusebenza ngo September kunyaka wendlule. I am currently employed in one of the retails a company in South Africa. Nisebenza kwamanye mashopu ala e South Africa. Uh, when I joined the co the company, there was this competition they call it Ace. Mangi mangi ya gule company bogo mupiswa ano. This competition is uh, for staff. Uh, they check our performance, individual performance. How many accounts did you open and they were approved, and how many customers can you serve per hour? The competition started in July. I started working in September. Last week, my manager came with a white envelope, written my name from Cape Town, our head office. Cape Town. When I opened the envelope, there was a certificate written that I am a best achiever at Bay Checkers Mall. Wow! Can somebody celebrate Jesus? Celebrate Jesus, somebody! Wow! Uh, what makes it interesting is that uh, I've never worked before. Uh, from September to December, it was my training, and I also 
received a certificate. Wow, my sister, if I can understand you correctly, you are saying that by the time, for the period of the competition, you were in training. Yes, I was in training. How many months? It was three months. Hey, can somebody celebrate Jesus? Celebrate Jesus, somebody. So, my sister, we can see a document on your left. Can you please explain to us what this document is about? Uh, this is my certificate that came along with my money. Let's certificate SSZ. Clap hands for Jesus. <laughs> my sister, what word of encouragement can you give to viewers who are watching you at home and the church at large? Okay, I would like to encourage all the youth that uh, maybe you might be experiencing financial problem. Uh, maybe your parents, they can't take you to university. Uh, don't give up on yourself. Like you can apply in any retail job or as a waiter, and then you work and then you save money and then you go to school and study hard. Wow, this is what I call overtaking. So my sister, we as Tabernacle Church of Jesus Christ International, we we'll like to give you the word of encouragement that continue to make the word of God the standard for your life and the blessings that you received will remain permanent in Jesus' name. You may take your seat. Shalom Aleikim. Shalom Aleikim. Aleikim Shalom. Can you please tell us your name and where you are coming from? My name is Angel and I'm staying in Pequen. Can you please tell us your testimony, please? My testimony goes like this. Uh, I received a call last week Saturday from my brother. From my brother at home in Zimbabwe. He said my mom, she's very sick. And he said I must come I must come back home. So I had to tell Papa before I go home in Zimbabwe. So I saw Papa on Saturday last week. Last week. And then Papa said to me, don't worry, she will be fine. And he said, I must bring a pig. And I bring it last week Sunday. And she prayed for her through that pig. Uh, during the week last week. And then my brother he called me again. And, and he said now she's healed. Can somebody celebrate Jesus? Celebrate Jesus, somebody. So, my sister, you said the man of God instructed you to bring a picture. True. Can you please show us the picture that you brought? Viewers all over the world, watch your screen, watch your screen. This is the picture that the sister brought, and the man of God prayed for the mother, whereas she's at home. Indeed, distance is not a barrier. Can we please celebrate Jesus for the healing? So, my sister, what word of encouragement can you give to viewers all over the world and the church at large? All I can say is um, believe in God and have faith in God. As the word of God says, uh, for with God nothing shall be impossible. Wow, indeed nothing is impossible with God. We at Tabernacle Church of Jesus Christ International would like to give you the word of encouragement that continue to make the word of God the standard of your life and the healing that your mother received will remain permanent in Jesus' name. You can take your seat. Shalom Alekim. Shalom, Alekim. Alekim, shalom. Can you please tell us your name and where you are coming from? My name is Lebron Gibson. I'm from Spetton. 
Can you share your testimony with the church? On Sunday when I wake up, I had a pains in my body. And then when I came to church, our father, Apostle God, son, and father prayed for me and the pain disappeared. Wow, let's the pains for Jesus. Tuesday, a fruit service. Got a happy more fruit servicing. I came again on Tuesday, fruit service. Papa, I'm Professor Aya. I'm Pusauri. Uwana three days back. Nekikula, Miluaka, Ulubuku. Apostle prophesied me and said he's, see, he's seeing me sick three days back. And then Ari Kibonaba to Bahuranza, Bahukitini, Sabalana Luena. He said he's seeing people, he's seeing me dreaming people, fighting me and chasing me. And in a legal need in a kilo radio. It was true, I was having those dreams. And then Papa Aunt Apella and Fat Deliverance Healing. He prayed for me and I got my deliverance and healing. So Nekupa Orijuete, since Apostle Aura Pelleti Aosa Laura Bokitimisa, since the man of God prayed for you, you are no longer dreaming being chased in the dreams. Come on, somebody, clap hands for Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. What word of encouragement can you give to viewers as you have received this healing and as you have received your deliverance? What can you say to encourage a viewer who is watching you at home? Nekupa, can you please tell us what is it that you were not able to do as you were seeking into an Osakono yet? Aokula, Utla, the pain it But now you can move your head. Nekupuru Bonze, can you move your head? Come on, somebody, celebrate Jesus. Step hands for Jesus. Viewers all over the world, she couldn't even turn her head, but now she can turn her head since she has been healed. Can you just exercise yourself? Let us see. Wow, let's step hands for Jesus. We as Tabernacle Church of Jesus Christ International, we thank God for the healing that you received through the man of God, Apostle God, San Efale. We want to encourage you that as you have seen the Lord Jesus Christ healing you, continue to make his way the standard for your life. Follow Jesus so that your healing will remain permanent in Jesus' mighty name. You can take your seat. Let's depend for Jesus. Then I stand up and I come forward to the altar. Then he prayed for me. Since he prayed for me from that day, I've never experienced it again. Come on, somebody, celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus, celebrate Jesus. Brother, what you're, what you're trying to tell us is that the man of God prayed for you, and since the man of God prayed for you, you received your healing. Yes, I received my he healing. Now there are no pains, you don't experience headache anymore, you are permanent. Yes. Jesus. So, my brother, for how many years have, have you been experiencing this headache? Since 2014. For two years you have been experiencing headache, but since you came to this house and the man of God, Apostle God, said, never prayed for you, you are permanently healed. Completely healed. So, as you have seen Jesus healing you, what word of encouragement can you give to the viewers who are watching you at home and the church at large? Uh, since I've been to different places like hospitals and other churches, so I would like to say, have faith in God. 
ngoba ngengahamba indawo nezahluka hlukene ibhedlele nasemasontweni sokuthanda ukuthi thembela uNkulunkulu wow my brother we as seven echo church of jesus christ international would like to give you the word of encouragement that make the word of god the standard of your life and the healing that you received will remain permanent in jesus name you can take your seat shalom alekim <laughs> Alikim. Alikim Shalom. Can you please tell us your name and where you are coming from? My name is Rotazo and I'm from Rusimosi. Can you share your testimony with the church? My testimony goes like this. Last year I matriculated at Masi Sevenza Comprehensive School. school. So it happened that when we were, we were approaching our exams, our principal insisted that we come to this place, they pray for us. Mind you, we were not fellowshipping here by then, all of us. So we came and then the apostle prayed for us. According to my understanding, I didn't expect like to pass the way I did. Oh, I got um, two distinctions and the rest were B's. Come on, somebody, celebrate Jesus. Shalom, Shalom. You said that you were not fellowshipping here. Yes, I wasn't fellowshipping here. You just came here to be prayed for as we were doing metric. Yes. The man of God prayed for you and you received the grace and you passed with distinctions. Amen. Come on, somebody, clap hands for Jesus. You can continue with your testimony. Okay, last year I applied for NSFAS loan. Last year, I applied for NSFAS. And it was the only kind of funding I applied for. So after passing the way I did, I actually expected to actually receive the bursaries without even applying. But things didn't turn as I thought. I didn't even get any funding. Even NSFAS delayed to reply me. I wanted to study advance, but then their registration fee was actually 10,000, so I didn't have that kind of amount. But I raised 4,000, and then I enrolled with the University of Johannesburg. I'm a first year student there and I'm studying Bachelor of Engineering in Electrical and Electronic. Come on, somebody tell us for Jesus. So a few weeks back, NSFAS replied, it actually offered me this iPad. I don't know. I don't know how much is it worth, but they just gave it to me for free. And, and Come on, somebody celebrate Jesus. And since I told you that I passed exceptionally well, I am part of the VIP students, and they are calling us orange carpet students at school. And so they offers us vouchers, 2,000 vouchers for books and stuff. So when I went there to collect my voucher, I saw this pamphlet. It was talking about the ESCOM bursary. So I went to the student finance and took the form and applied. student finance and form After after a week, they called me for an interview. interview. On the morning, I called the apostle, but like the phone took me to the voicemail. I left the message and said, Papa, I'm going to have an interview. Can you please back up me in prayer? When I go to an interview, and I was the first to be interviewed, so it was so scary. When I left... They immediately called me to sign the contract. Come on, somebody celebrate Jesus.
Mind you, I've been waiting for NSFAS. Like I said, I applied for it last year. So it happened that another week, the following week, Eskom called me again for another contract. Come on, somebody, stand up. Stand up and celebrate Jesus. Stand up and celebrate. So I wanted to delay in as far since it is a loan. I wanted ESCOM actually because it is an passer. I'm not going to pay anything back after studying. So then and again it gives me a food allowance and NSFAS doesn't give me that. So NS Fats, I mean ESCOM seem delaying after those contracts that I signed. I expected the confirmation letter, but they took time and then I signed the contract with NSFAS. So after me signing the contract with NSFAS, they approved me. So I had to terminate one contract. So you were having, you mean you were having two contracts? Yes, I had two contracts. Somebody stand up and celebrate. Come on, somebody celebrate. And they told me that it is, it is actually illegal to sign two contracts at the same time. But so, it so, it a must. Must. so it is a must for me to terminate one. So, so I terminated NS first. And so I already have their iPad. We need mm -hmm. NS first. And I'm not iPad. Hallelujah. Remember? Remember, remember, she spoke something that now she, she compared the two contracts. The one of ESCOM is, is not a loan. Hallelujah. Nesfas is a loan, so she still had to pay back. So she terminated the Nesfas one, and then she took the one of ESCOM, which is a bazaar, and she won't be paying them back. Come on, somebody, clap hands for Jesus. So on your left there, we are seeing documents on your left. Can you explain to us what are those documents for? This is the ESCOM contract. Viewers, viewers all over the world, just watch your screen. This is the contract that she received from the ESCOM Bazari. Just watch your screen. After being prayed for by the men of God, Apostle God, Son, and Father. What a mighty God we serve. Let's step in for Jesus. Viewers, you can see the contract. Can you?